All right, welcome everybody for the first deck today here on stream. Of course, if you're watching this later on YouTube, it may be your second or third deck. Who knows? Uh, but we're going to try Naya Value again. Uh, certainly one of my favorite decks and a deck that I think is very strong. But I'm trying a couple new things here. So I've basically always had like at least two Tristani and two Aurelia in this deck. Basically always have. Um, but I'm, I'm wondering if Aurelia is really that necessary these days um, with like how good removal is and everything. Uh, it doesn't have an enter the battlefield ability. So um, instead of uh, the Aurelias I'm, and also like the, the uh, Tristanis, I'm going to just try out Biogenic Ooze in this kind of deck. Been really, really impressed with Biogenic Ooze and it's another card we can get with uh, Militia Bugler. So before we used to have like, you know, the, the slots for the Aurelias and the Tristanis but with the new addition of Growth Chamber Guardian, we're kind of having less and less slots um, there. So we got even more two drops. Um, but uh, we'll see if that's enough having Growth Chamber Guardian, Biogenic Ooze kind of instead of those. Now, that is going to make us worse against Aggro, not having Tristani in particular. Um, so without having Tristani against Aggro, I, I still want access to that. So it's, it's coming over here in the sideboard. Still got these Tristanis to bring in against uh, the Aggro decks. Um, and uh, besides that, I think I like where our sideboard is at. Uh, I think the card, I'm, I'm still kind of questionable on Cinder Vines. We played it yesterday, and I wasn't very impressed with the card yesterday. But the first time we played it, I was really impressed. So, you know, I'm still ex not exactly sure with that card. Um, we got Knight of Autumns and other Vivians, other ways to destroy enchantments and bindings. In fact, maybe we should play one Rhythm of the Wild. I wasn't thrilled with Rhythm of the Wild the first time, but maybe we just go like one Cinder Vine, one Rhythm of the Wild. Um, there we go. Uh, I usually start at 3 o'clock, Avalonians. Uh, I was a little late today. I was making the mill deck. I started at like 3.08 or something like that was uh, whenever I hit the stream button. Yeah, we have removal in the main deck. We got four Lava Coil, and we got Vivians to destroy Flyers and Enchantments and Artifacts and all that kind of stuff. Um, and Daredevil takes their removal spells also. Uh, so we, we have some removal in the main deck. Um, thanks, Swam. No, I didn't. I I I haven't. Uh, I did not write any uh, set review, but yeah, I had the the uh, podcast on YouTube about it. Yeah, I put the coils up here. Couldn't couldn't really see them way down there. Okay. All right. Well, uh, I guess I'm going to put in the one rhythm of the wild. So I should change that over on Stream Decker. But let's go ahead and get to playing Naya. Value. One cinder vine. Stream Decker is having a hard time finding Rhythm of the Wild. Hey, Screaming Canuck. Just want to say, someone who wears a tie to work when it's not required, I appreciate your choice to wear one. I think it's a good call. Have you ever considered a vest? Yeah, I've... Yeah, I've worn vests before. I haven't worn one in a while. But yeah, I, I have a couple of vests that, that uh, I wear from time to time. Not very often. But yeah, the vest is a good look. Uh, another person asked why you wear a tie. And I just uh, like to present, present myself this way. I enjoy how I look in a tie. Overlay. Correct. I don't have the overlay up. Good call. Let's get Deckmaster up here. Alright, so it looks like we're playing against like a Rakdos mid-range deck, likely. Um, I'm already at three lands right now. And Biogenic Ooze is a really good card. But I think I'm going to go Graveyard, honestly. I think my, my hand is pretty stacked where I kind of want another white source for the Ajani and a fifth land. That we didn't really have access to, so I think I'm going to be a little greedy here. Mm -hmm. 
All right, and Johnny in. Do not fear, my friend. Strength is hair puns playing Rakdos land go. I'm expecting a removal spell here for sure. Whoa, I was certainly expecting a removal spell there. Hmm. Well, those blood crypts look pretty cool over there. Hmm. So this is presumably a red-black mid-range deck. Also means I'm not sure there's really anything I need to do. I, I think Wild Growth Walker, I guess, could come out. Like, the life gain's probably not that necessary. And there's lots of black removal spells that take care of Wild Growth Walker pretty efficiently. Um, red and black don't really have answers to Ixalan's Binding. That could be, like, a good card against, like, Rekindling Phoenix, for example. Um, and then, like, just some Tristanis. Against like Eldritch Reborn and stuff. It's a lot. It's more fours and fives, but I think we're okay against like the mid range deck putting in some more fours and fives. Sounds reasonable to me. I am playing uh, an Azor. Yeah, so you can see up here. Um, oh, I guess I, I just wrote blue white mill. But yeah, I'm playing an Azorius mill deck with. Zero to fairies today. It was a deck that was donated uh, for me to play. It was a donation deck. Donation deck. And we're going to try it out. Thoughts on new tokens, Abzan, or Selesnia? Um... I'm not sure exactly what tokens decks gained from the latest sets. Just all, you know, just immediately I can't, I don't know exactly what new tokens looks like. If it's any different from other tokens. All right, Grixis Control. So I like, I like our sideboarding uh, for the most part. Um, I like binding and Binding and Tristani against them. Hmm. Didn't get that other land. Thought Erasure Bug works again. Lava Coil's honestly, like, just fine. Here. Let me get rid of the Johnny. I don't want to get rid of one Lava Coil and, like, I don't know, die to a Nickel Bolas or something. I think we'll have more time to discard other cards. And... I would like... Uh, like, I just want a second Lava Coil. Growth Chamber Guardian. Hmm... And stay. Ah! Yeah, Grixis. A problem with Grixis right now is is its weakness to enchantments, for sure. Um, and uh, there's a lot of really good enchantments in the latest set. And that's something that Grix is going to struggle with. Our opponent knows about the Lava Coil in hand, so I'm not expecting a block. It's 
So if I would have put the Growth Chamber Guardian in the graveyard, I would have been drawing a land. Which is a really important land. So I kind of regret not... I kind of regret keeping the Growth Chamber Guardian about now. And I'm going to go ahead and discard the Lava Coil to kind of have my opponent, you know, maybe think that there's not a Lava Coil, another one kind of thing. All right, now we don't need to even attack in and, and offer a trade plus Lava Coil for Whisper. Animals, we can just People? Uh, Not have so Vivian much. take care of the Doom Whisperer. And our opponent is losing a lot of life. Um, yeah, Nixim, I, I agree. The later Sealy Man is underrated. Means retribution. You know, is, I think this is early 2000s, maybe. Yeah, I guess we could have du double lava coiled also. I guess that might have been just better. Didn't really consider using both removal spells like that. Tilt. All right, looking for dire fleet daredevil. Shield. Yeah, daredevil. They have a removal spell over here. No tilt. Um, I think it's still just my pick pretty easily. Okay, so we attack this turn. And uh, they block Jade Light, take two, go to two. If I don't attack, well, even, even afterwards, they probably attack Vivian, uh, play new Nicol Bolas. I don't think it's really worth sacrificing a Jade Light for two damage. I'm going to say no. No, I don't play other games when streaming. Oh, but, sorry, when I'm not streaming. Um, yeah, I recently got a... That's rude. I recently got a uh, Nintendo Switch, and I've been playing some Legend of Zelda uh, Breath of the Wild on there. Virtual set would be a reason to uh, attack. It's true. Um, but at that point, you know, like... I don't know. Singular removal spell. Like, if I make the attack and put him down to two, and they draw a single removal spell, like a... You know, something cheap. They can have, like, nickel... Like a... So that it would cost less than three, because I think that seven mana. They could have Nicol Bolas attack Vivian, play new Nicol Bolas. Yeah, they had seven mana. And then, like, cast down or Lava Coil, my other creature, and I can't really get through. But, all right, starting with a win. Hey, Boop. Want to know? No, I've never thought about streaming Breath of the Wild. That's... So we're going to time to kind of just relax a little bit. Uh, I'm not... I don't know. I feel like I'm more of an expert in Magic the Gathering than uh, the other games. I 
I'm overall not a very not a very outgoing person and so I usually need like a little bit of time to kind of recharge the batteries and stuff between streams. I'm gonna save coil. Um, you know, I could coil like the lava, the lane of elves, and uh, slow them down just a tad. But I'm gonna save it. I could certainly see something a little scarier coming out here. <laughs> I am a completionist when it comes to video games. That's true. I like I like doing everything in the game. The haste on the Spellbreaker was a little surprising. That's, that's kind of aggressive. That's really unfortunate. That's really unfortunate. I was definitely hoping to uh, lava coil that Hellkite. Hmm. Okay. Okay. So. A Johnny can certainly you die stand. here. You, can you know, if they fight. have Hellkite attack a Johnny. Um, that's something that I, I would not mind whatsoever. Um, they can of course, you know, like, just use the Hellkite's ability to kill a Johnny also. Um, but you know, right now, like, the, the card advantage that a Johnny can provide is not as important. You know, us staying alive is the important thing, so, um, yeah, I'm just trying to stay alive. Yeah, you are too. Yep. Yeah, no, I, I, I like to take my time and kind of go through every little bit of the game and trying to get everything. Like with Breath of the Wild, how Boo was saying, because Boo was over at my house. We were playing that uh, a few days ago. Um, all right, so this is trading there. And then do I want... To have, I can just take three. I don't need to. I don't need to block the spell breaker. I can just take three. I don't want the wild growth walker to die. Okay. I wish you only the best. Every. Feel the wrath of Scala. Um, but sorry, I was going through every single like each area, like the beginning area and everything, and, and going through and uh, trying to find all the Korok seeds and, and do everything uh, before going on to the next area. Uh oh, a Phoenix! I have to coil that Phoenix there. Growth Chamber Guardian and Incubation Druid adds up to tokens. Also, by playing Abzan, you can play Pontiff, Hero of Precinct 1, and other cards to benefit, getting benefit by token engines. Let's do this again. Yep, yeah. I haven't I haven't played those cards yet myself, but... Um, yeah, that's, that sounds... Like there are some good upgrades for that deck. I think it's just Biogenic Ooze time. Am I attacking Domri? I guess so. My 
my muscles so we can get Phoenix small, haste. But watch out when I flex them. I'm down to six. But next turn I'll have it doesn't have vigilance, right? Oh, okay, that's why. Um so next turn I'll be able to gain six life and coil the Phoenix. Uh, Big Red is a pretty interesting deck. I think that there's a, a lot to like with Big Red. I feel like if I don't make this block, I may regret it later. If I don't make that block. Oh, like with the, you know, with our draw step and with Jade Light. With the uh, double explore here, I feel like we can get another good threat. Um, but you know, maybe not also. I'm not finished with you. Not by a long shot. <laughs> You've seen the light and agree with me on Carney T? Yeah, it's not as good in this format as it as it was before. I should play the land first. I guess they could have an instant speed removal spell that they hadn't used yet. Um I'll just play this. All right, there we go. Got our first win. Correct, Tim. Uh, what happened to make Carney T bad? It's just there's like just more sweepers in the format. The format's faster, where like the the six mana card isn't as good. Um, the creatures in the format are, are also kind of bigger, where like other creatures are just able to deal with to like tussle with Carnage Tyrant uh, better. Um, and yeah, and like I was saying, it's not as good against the control decks because they're playing more sweepers, like with like Kai's Wrath and everything. Um, just not, not as impactful of a card as it was last format. Yeah, there's Consume also. All right, so we're playing against Gruel Aggro. Clarion doesn't seem so bad. Binding's great. Um, I think I want all four Vivians because of Hellkite and things like that. Tristani. Tristani's probably better than Biogenic Goose for us. Do I want the Clarions, though? Their creatures can get bigger than Clarion pretty easily. They may not have them, like that many creatures that Clarion actually kills. Hmm. I don't think I want all these Ajani's. Let's go to like two Ajani, get a news back in here. Well, I can't play like 10 five drops. And I think I like Tristani more than news against the aggro deck of getting the lifelink tokens. And make, making my creatures bigger to be able to handle their creatures a little better. Um, I think mean, Vivian is like kind of like a card that I don't want to cut too much. Hey Ken, it's going good. Back another day. Uh, another day, more standard decks. This is one of my favorites here with the Naya value. Yeah, I I could. S so the. Statement is, I still like Aurelia in this deck, to be honest, though. That's that's just me. But, no, like, I, I also like Aurelia in the deck. I'm kind of trying it. You know, this is my first time trying it without Aurelia. Um, but Aurelia is a good card. It's it's difficult. There's just, there are, you know, of course, a lot of good cards. And, you know, we can't play them all. But, um, 
I could certainly see going back to Aurelia. You know, I'm not shutting the door on Aurelia or anything. Uh, that's awkward. That's a good card, but we need land. And our opponent doesn't have land. This is, like, why the Explore cards are so good, you know? Like, I just got rid of, like, two cards that weren't land to help, help us hit land drops. Our opponent doesn't have that opportunity. Um, this is my first time with this deck with Ooze, but... I have been certainly playing a whole lot of Biogenic Goose. I really like the card. I am proud to fight seeing yourself what I see in you. Yeah, so I'm guessing they kept Mountain, Mountain, Lava Coil, and, you know, maybe they have, like, you know, some Spellbreakers and some green, maybe some green two drops, like maybe they're playing Branch Walker or things like that, but... I'm just going to play Vivian. I guess it's probably better just to play Tristani. Um, I don't go to SCGs anymore, Mev. I won't be there. I will be uh, writing um, a quick little deck guide with Cyborg Guides um, on at least two decks. On Friday, I'm going to be sending it out to uh, all my subscribers. Um, so a little bonus there with uh, at least two, maybe three. Uh, you know, we'll see. But decks that I would recommend, like, take into the open with Cyborg Guide. The, the, the Zorius Mill that I have up there... Um, yeah, you can you can find the deck list here. Exclamation point decks. You can find the deck list right there. That was one that I, that I made. I donated from for me to make the, the mill deck, and so I put that mill deck together. I haven't played it all or anything, so it's all just kind of you know we'll see how it goes. I think the sideboard is the toughest thing. I'm going to try something a little different with the mill sideboard. I'm going to try um, I'm going to try having just a a a transformational sideboard. Where we're going to turn into like a an Azorius aggro deck uh, after sideboarding when people take out all their creature removal. We'll see if it works. Complexity, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Welcome to the stream. So the first hand was close to being a keep, but I really didn't like how it was only two lands. Uh, I could see it getting stuck on lands, and so went ahead and shipped it. Um, have you thought about watching your own strategy site? Uh, I, I don't know much about how to do the, anything like that. Um, I am planning on, you know, like, we got the YouTube channel up right now. I'm, you know, slowly working on other things. I am planning on getting the Discord channel to be, um, to be pretty big and, um, having a, a lot of, different rooms in the discord channel for for different topics and everything um that is certainly something that i am planning on doing soon you should be proud to have come so far there's more work to do no and no plans for upcoming magic fest either uh valvoa Just transitioning to being just transitioned to being a full time streamer and not really going to paper tournaments. Yeah, pretty strong start for the opponent. Lab the stage looked very good there. I mean it's really just rekindling Phoenix. Rekindling Phoenix is the thing that's allowing our opponent to do all of this. Not, well, I'm saying Rekindling Phoenix. Runaway Steamkin. Uh, that is the wrong card. Sorry, we were just facing Phoenix. Sorry, Runaway Steamkin. Steamkin is the card that's allowing our opponent to do all of this. I think our opponent should have attacked there first with, with the Steamkin as a 4-4. Four, four, and then played Pyromancer. Unless this is a haste creature. No, so yeah, they could have attacked. So they could have had one more point of damage by attacking first there. 
um, as a 4-4 and then second main gone Pyromancer Shock. You know, I, I don't think that that one point's going to matter here, and no, it won't, but the Spear Spewer and stuff, we're dead. Alright, so our six card hand was not very good that game. Our opponent's hand was very good. Um, a Johnny, at least two are coming out. They may all be coming out. These Clarions are all coming in. Uh, Knight of Autumn is all coming in. Tristani. Um, I think kind of overall we have a lot of good things here. Um, what else do I want to cut if this is 64? I've cut Buglers before in the past in this kind of matchup. Which maybe, maybe that's like the card to cut. Um, certainly see my opponent playing Spear Model Frenzy. I like keeping in one Vivian. Um, yeah. The three toughness is just not very good against their burn spells against my Clarions. And uh, if I cut other creatures, it's just going to make Militia Bugler worse. You know, bringing in all these spells. Make it so uh, Bugler has less hits kind of thing. I think Growth Chamber is the cut. I think that's too slow. Could see that. For the most part, we'll be playing Growth Chamber on like five mana kind of thing of like wanting to be able to play it in, make it a 4-4 uh, a immediately. 4-4 uh, four, four body, of course, is uh, really good against the red deck. My curve didn't go down just a ton. We still have, I still have like a good amount of f uh, five drops. Basically, just don't want to trim land, like, really at all. Especially on the play. But three color decks um, can certainly... Could be a problem hitting your land drops and stuff. Yeah, doing good, Matthew. So we get to light up the stage also, if we want. That was a perfect light up the stage for them, though. Lava Runner plus Shock. So they can, like, turn the Lava Runner on and spend, like, their three mana really efficiently here. That was pretty perfect. I'm likely just going to go... Ooh. Interesting. Interesting. That's bold. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna wait on the Daredevil, but let's go Wild Growth Walker and Branch Walker while they're tapped out. Game three. Um. Yeah, Branch Walker is a fine card. Even if they kill Wild Growth Walker, it's still probably a pretty, uh, pretty fine card. Thanks, Joe. Are you as angry as me as they gave Red Deck wins life the stage? No, probably not. I'm not too angry about it. Yeah, I could go Daredevil, Shock, and Branch Walker, or I can go Daredevil, light up the stage, and Branch Walker if I, you know, if I hit him with one of these Branch Walkers. Our opponents found a lot of those light up the stages. Wow, they're just taking it all. Hmm. They're at eight.
That's a good card. Gives us a bunch of 4-4s. Four right, so I, like, I'm going to Knight of Autumn next turn. I'll have two extra mana. I can play the Growth Chamber Guardian. Of course, it's like weak to a shock if I just play it next turn. Yeah, it's probably better than a random card. Cool, excited to see some Mardu Angels. Yeah, Mardu Angels looked pretty good last time. I, I still like Selesnya Angels, though, too. Is it bad for to think about running two Immortal Sun main? And Mardu Angels? Um... Yeah, not sure if you need that main deck. It's not it's not the worst though. I mean it's Immortal Sun is good against control and that's what you're gonna be weak weaker against. No, I still like Flower Flourish and, and Slesnay Angels. I'll just go ahead and play it out. You know, they draw a burn spell, kill the Guardian, we're looking great, like we're at 9. So would I rather have Militia Bugler on the draw over Growth Chamber Guardian? Basically, Bugler finding Tristani and Knight of Autumn uh, more reliably, I suppose. Or Wild Growth Walker. Or the Explore things for Wild Growth Walker. I kind of think so, honestly. That's a lot. On the draw, I don't think I'm going to have like enough time to adapt this. Like, where they're... Like, yeah. Thanks, Mom Spaghetti. Or SpaghettiOs. Saying, been liquor for a while, digging the stream. I like that you don't rage, concede to aggro, and just let them finish you off. Much respect. Thanks. Okay, this hand looks good. We got a, a coil for um, a runaway steamkin, which is certainly an important thing to have. Uh, runaway Steamkin is quite scary. And uh, Knight of Autumn can gain some life. It's Wild Growth Walker just kind of lurking here for whenever we draw a Jade Light Ranger. Alright, yeah. We'll, we'll go ahead and field this question. It's another card to Lava Coil. I like where we're at here. I think I'm just I'm just on gain four life mode with Knight of Autumn. So they're down to not a lot of cards. All right, so now I'm gonna coil Steamkin. And drop this Temple Garden, probably. Yeah, I, like, I don't think I throw a Wild Growth Walker in front of a Skewer or in front of another Burn Spell. So we're just going to go Coil. Yeah, it's it's still just Coil, even though I could go Wild Growth Walker, Branch Walker. Runaway Steamkin is just so incredibly scary. Like, it can... Like, if they have, like, you know, Lava Coil for Wild Growth Walker and so on, like, they can just... Kind of start going off with the runaway steamkin. Yeah, uh, the gate stack that we played the other day I thought was really good. 
I liked it quite a bit. Um, you know, still needs a little work, and somebody said they've been kind of playing, uh, changing up the sideboard a little bit on it. But yeah, I like it a lot. That's unfortunate. That's not ideal. I wish we could have had our Wild Growth Walker there. Hmm. Vivian, you gotta help us out. We're struggling here. Maybe find another Knight of Autumn. How this Tristani. thing goes is up to you. I've seen things that would break someone like you. Hmm. So Branch Walker, if I find another wild, like if I, if the tick up next turn is Wild Growth Walker, then I'll want the Branch Walker to go along with it. If I take Bugler, I'll have four other mana next turn. Um. I'll take it. So I'll have four other mana next turn, I'll, and, but I can <clears throat> look at a lot of cards for like a for like a Knight of Autumn, for example. You know, the the one card we draw for turn, four for Vivian, four for Bugler. There were like nine cards there. Bugler does block better. Blocks a Pyromancer pretty well. Balance comes. There's a Knight of Autumn. We've been doing actually pretty good with these tick ups. Like, we've put a lot of lands to the bottom in there. It hasn't been like, you know, like seeing like four cards of Vivian. has been like, you know, four cards were like four creatures were uh, really trying to, like, that we really want and stuff like that. Um, so, you know, like, I feel good about finding like a Wild Growth Walker, for example. We haven't seen one of those in a, in a long time that we could see for the next turn. Uh, no, I. I have not taken any time to play the Teamer Reclamation deck. That's not a, a deck that you uh, can't stop nature. I'm very excited about too much at all. And yeah, saving Jade Light for a Wild Growth Walker here. Fleck, did you have a did you have like a different question there that I missed? Do you like your Jeskai Legends or Naya Legends build better? Um, I like the Naya one better. Uh, I, yeah, I like the Naya one better. I haven't, I haven't updated Naya at all with the new set. If there is much to add to it at all, um, but Jeskai uh, felt pretty good the other day. Is Krasis a must include for Gates? No, I don't think I had. I had zero Krasis in my Gates deck and. I don't think I had any crisis. Maybe I had one. I don't remember. Come to me. Uh, I didn't really. Yeah, we could, definitely could have emblemed. I guess my opponent wanted me to do that. I was a little more focused on looking for another wild growth walker. It had three crisis. Okay, so it did have crisis. So I forgot it did. All right. So yeah, you don't need those though. Shows how much I remember the crisis as being there. Uh, you want something else that draws cards though, or something that's kind of good against control. Uh, you know, you could have like explosion for expansion explosion that could work instead of the crises. You're welcome, movie star. Thanks for the kind words. Thanks for being here. I totally had lethal with the ultimate. Yep. Yep. You can see how I was just... I had kind of checked out of the game at that point. Uh, we, were, we were doing pretty good. And, you know, I was just kind of answering questions in chat. And uh, just kind of on autopilot of look for Wild Growth Walker kind of thing. But, yeah, I, I should have ultimated the Vivian. Burn looks... Pretty good in the new format. 
Yeah, it's not looking too bad. <laughs> I should have kept that seven. What is the best best of one deck you've played so far? I have not played any best of one decks so far. So. I did two out of three here on the stream. Uh, I'll play best of one sometimes if when people donate for a best for like a specific best of one deck. But that's like the only time I play best of one. Alright, certainly expecting a wrath. Um, but I really want to make sure, I really want to make sure we follow up, uh, with Vivian. So, I'm, I'm willing to throw this branch walker out of there. Okay, just to kind of make sure we get that land. Um. It's also, you know, possible our opponent doesn't have Wrath. They'd have to have, like, second white source for cleansing Nova. Yeah, I mean, I guess it's, it's possible they don't have Wrath, so. There we go. Good old isolated chapel. Coming to play tapped. No planes or swamp on the opponent's side there. Oh, I should play the Branch Walker here, probably. I guess Branch Walker threatens lethal. My, my plan is just not to play anything. Like, my plan is like, just to, to pass again, I think. I guess Branch Walker would threaten Lethal. I, get, I mean, like, I'm a letting, letting them go with the Insight, but I really don't want them to counter my Vivian. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine with this. I'm, I'm fine with not, not playing Branch Walker. But maybe I should. Force, like... You know, they would just counter the Branch Walker. Or have... Yeah, so, like, they have, like, the Syncopate there. Like, they would use... They would use something to get rid of the branch walker, whether it's countering it or uh, use a removal spell on something else. Um, I don't, I don't really think we would get lethal at all. But what would, what, uh, what playing the branch walker would have done is it would have not have allowed my opponents to cast the. Um, Meet my newest friend. They would not have been able to cast the uh, chemistry's insight. But they did not have a land last turn. So they got lots of spells. Hmm. You look pretty dead here. Maybe I should have just thrown this branch walker away earlier. It does look very bad for us. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, Ale. So we need to move quick. We'll be able to find the replay, of course. Oh yeah, we're very vulnerable to wrath effects. Absolutely. Yep. That's what the wrath effects are for. So they're at four, Teferi's at five. No counter spell. All right. I should definitely play the other land though, in case of it. Yeah, like that could have been a cast down. I need to. I need to get used to playing the land there and having the extra three mana to be able to adapt again. That could have certainly been a cast down or a moment of craving or something like that. And that would have just been horrendous. Oh yeah, the opponent's already stabilized. Whenever they had the contempt for the Vivian, let's skip to the good part. When they had a, the contempt for the Vivian, my chances of winning dropped to like ten percent. With them having so many cards in hand. Yeah. 
We are at... Basically 0% now. Okay. Let's get an extra Vivian. Cinder Vines. Rhythm. Uh, Knights. Spyglass. Walker and Coil on out. I guess that's 59. I could play a Tristani. Or I just put a Wild Growth Walker in the deck. I guess I play a Tristani. Well, maybe I should just have one Wild Growth Walker. That's something to play on turn two. No, I actually don't want Binding here. They are, they have a lot of ways to answer the enchantment um, between... You know, because I'm going to have other enchantments too. I don't want them to, like, Cleansing Nova away my artifacts and enchantments. Uh, you know, or Teferi or Mortify. They have, they have a like, good amount of things. Tristani plays around Mass Manipulation is true. Hmm. Alright, let's try to hit some land drops here. good one. I think it's too e So, yeah. Why not binding for Teferi? I think it's just too easy for my opponent to remove the binding and then they get their Teferi back. And before before that, like, if I have Ixalan's binding in my opening hand, for example, I am just sitting here um... Yeah, I'll just be, like, sitting there with, like, an Ixalan's binding, which is just kind of like a, a dead card kind of just in my hand for like the longest time and then once they finally play Teferi then I Ixalan's binding it and then I hope that they never ever remove the Ixalan's binding because otherwise they just get it Teferi and play it's just not a it's not really a scenario that I necessarily want alright we're going to make them answer this battlefield here I honestly don't know what Ooze's price tag is, so I don't really have a, a thought on Ooze's price tag. I, I don't know what it is. Um, I mean, I would, I would like to play a Johnny pre-combat. No, I guess I'm just going to play Bugler. I think it's likely, like, Contempt or some kind of removal spell here. So do I play Bugler or do I just land a Johnny? If I Johnny tick up. Hmm. Maybe go double growth shaper guardian. I don't think it's likely they have Ritual of Soot with in their Cleansing Nova deck, but it's certainly possible. Yeah, we played Marty Aristocrats yesterday, and played one a few days ago also. Uh, yeah, I've played it a couple times. Uh, I don't want a Johnny countered. Oh well. I think sitting back and not playing into it. You do not have to fight alone. Is also problematic. You are capable of more than you assume. Aristocrats felt pretty good. Um, 
I played one in Johnny in the second the second time, and I'm not sure if that one if that's like really that necessary. I put them both on the growth chamber guardians in case there was a moment of craving or cast down or something like that in response. I wanted to be able to go grab the other one. Um, so even if they, if they killed one of the growth chamber guardians, like if I went bugler plus one growth chamber on my tick up, they could you know kill the growth chamber in response. And then I don't get the and then like wrath, and then I don't get the other guardian. So I went both on the guardians. Yeah, I think February 1st is when Ranked Allegiance draft starts, I believe. Look how far you have come. So even if they have the contempt on the four four, that still takes six. So we need more than just one contempt. Just contempt. So we're gonna need to cast down also. Or alright, revitalize keeps them alive. Um, I unfortunately don't have 6 mana. I would like to daredevil this Chemister's Insight that's over here. That's what I'd like to do this turn. Um, I, think, I guess I could... Maybe I just Bugler plus Branch Walker. Could just play Biogenic Ooze. Hey, track team. Life is good. Play the one bugler. Yeah, I can take the card. I can I can exile the chemistry's inside, but I can't cast it. I wanted to cast it. I guess maybe I should have just done the revitalize and just cycle the daredevil, but you know the bugler just cycles also. Okay, we got them that that game. We're going to win a game three on the draw. All right, like where we're at. Yeah, I would recommend keeping your gold until then. Um, if you can, if you can, you know, wait another, uh, basically a week, you know, eight days. Uh, if it doesn't, you know, if you're not chomping at the bit, uh, it's it's the best to save the gold till then. All right, two drop, three drop. Those are some good ones. We'll see how it goes. Uh, drafting is better with the gold, better value with the gold than, than buying packs. Um, search for as Kenta. I dropped 20 bucks on gems, so let me draft a bunch in the meantime. Once that's out, I'll just wait till best of one draft hits. That's a good that's a good decision. What decks beat? Red deck wins, Boros Weenie, and Mono Blue. Um Alright, do I want to rhythm of the wild? Rhythm of the Wild is kinda interesting here. I mean, like, we would play it this turn, and then we'd have always have hasty Jade Light Rangers like next turn and everything. Yeah, I think so. the The Explorer from the Jade Light Ranger is not as val valuable with Thief of Sanity coming in here. They could certainly find my my Knight of Autumns. That would be really bad if they found Knight of Autumn. Do I want to give them Branch Walker with Diva Sanity? I th 
Do I give them Branch Walker? Yeah. I guess they could also just like force me to draw the Branch Walker, which I, I don't actually really want to draw it right now. But The Rhythm of the Wild is uncounterable. It says, creature spells you control can't be countered. All right, so they took Branch Walker over Daredevil. All right. Are they keeping Sinister Sabotage? Even though my creature spells can't be countered? Interesting. Yeah, I'm not so sure about that. Uh, not so sure about that whole sinister sabotage, chilling over there. They do have search for Escanta. They can still mill it over though. Oh, yeah. Stream Decker is not really allowing me. There. Okay, never mind. All right. It came up finally. I, I stopped looking, but one at one of the two cinder vines. Uh, all right, I just updated it. If you refresh, it should be updated. But it should be one cinder vine, one rhythm of the wild. Mm -hmm. No, Delio, I'll I'll try to um, I'll, I'll try to get to your message. I haven't. I just haven't been feeling the best with like the cold weather and everything here and so I, I really haven't been doing much between the the stream times here I've been just kind of saving up energy so I, I really haven't been messaging people or anything too much recently um, I think this is the time to resolve the Vivian even though I know we can attack with like double bugler but they got sabotage over there I want to get rid of this would you like to see what no one said restoration was painless? So sorry, yeah, I'll, I'll get to you soon. I, I've seen, I have like five messages on... On, uh, on there to get to. Yeah, they, they would have been able to counter the Vivian. Uh, they, they were tapped out, which is why I was saying I could get it down then. No one knows the wilds like I do. This biogenic ooze is actually going to be really annoying. to get through these big creatures. But they can Oh no, destroy my rhythm. I didn't live through Tilt. hell to lose to you. This is nothing. That's why they kept the sinister sabotage. Hmm. Ooh. That's pretty good. I've seen things that would break someone like you. Um, look, what am I looking at? Seven mana right now? I think I'm probably just spending seven mana. I'm playing a Johnny for sure. So I guess I'm just playing a Johnny and uh, Militia Bugler. Our kinship ensures our I will lend you my strength. Stack. Just 
No, red also has uh, Lava Coil and Dire Fleet Daredevil are the main main deck cards in red. Um, Alright, and Daredevil I get to... Uh, oh, I thought they played a Contempt earlier. I guess they did not. Balance comes. Yeah, Spyglass would... Yep, if I Spyglass their Vivian, it would get rid of my Vivian. Also, I certainly want a Spyglass to Fairy, but they have a Vivian that could kill the Spyglass. Which is... Slightly problematic. You don't know. Yeah, Vivian helps them hit land drops. Um, and yeah, if I do play Spyglass, they get to kill it. Played turn two Simic Ascendancy into turn three Hadana's Climb into three oozes. So much power on the board so fast. Huh. All right, so let's go. All right, I got a plan. I got a plan. Let's go Spyglass, see their hands. It's Chromium. So if they would have countered, whoops. Not that. No, not you. You. If they would have countered Spyglass, then I would have gone then I was gonna be able to Daredevil and uh get their counter spell. So they play Chromium, they're dead. How can they stay alive? They go to six with Revitalize. They have to Revitalize into something else. Correct, opponent has no green mana. They took my cards with Thief of Sandy where they can cast him without green mana. So Revitalize doesn't save them either. So they can't cast Chromium. Surprised they don't lead with Revitalize first. But I guess they're looking for Settle. Ah, Contempt, that does it. That's a good one, that's a good one. Okay, so. The wilds are my shield. Did I play a land? I don't think I played a land. Um. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two, three, four, five, six. Can I beat Biogenicus and Chromium? I should do the Daredevil Contempt next turn, probably. Maybe I should have just got Bio. I guess I, I could have played Biogenicus plus Growth Chamber Guardian this turn. That would have been better for me. Draw and fire.
So what's their plan? Yeah, we're in a pretty good spot, but I probably should have just gotten more creatures on the battlefield. I can no longer stand by and watch. Time is much more malleable than people think. So they have to revitalize. What do I have for two drops in here anyway? Ooh, I, ha I do have a daredevil? That's interesting. Alright, it's good to know. I'm not going to get it yet. I'm threatening to do a Johnny Ultimate this next turn. Deliver us to victory. Thanks, Arokan. Alright, and they put the Growth Chamber back in the library so we can go find it again. The Growth Chamber Guardian, that is. Meet my newest friend. Oh, I should cast another thing. Dang it. I should cast Biogenicus there. Or just another thing. This is hardly my worst defeat. Because then they now they can use their counter spell. They can counter. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, they can counter Bugler. Um, yeah, because before pre-combat they couldn't counter anything because they have to hold up Revitalize. But post-combat now they can cast a counter spell. I could also just activate Arch of Araska and draw a card. I think I'm going to actually just do that. I'm going to play this Growth Chamber Guardian here. And still have 5 mana to activate Arch of Araska. It's not a punt. It's okay. Yeah, I like drawing a card here. I, I still like where we're at. Like, I actually think this is... You missed lethal with double a Johnny activation. How was I going to get to five? If I just played another Johnny, this would get to four. And they're at five. It was, it was not lethal. Right? Like, because I have this attacker. It's three. Playing another Johnny would make it four, and they were going to five with the gain three. Yeah, because we knew about the revitalize in their hand. Yeah, so we're about to ultimate this Johnny. Um, it's going to be pretty tough for them to fight through that. There you go. All right, 4 0. And it's final boss time. We're going to see if we can. Defeat the final boss. All right, let's get our final boss music. Here we go. Can we start off the stream with five wins? Bring it on, final boss. Ooh. Alright, six card hands looking good. Hey, Suzu, good evening. Um. 
Yes, if they had a syncopate. I didn't think they had a counter spell in their graveyard. But yeah, if, if they had a syncopate in their graveyard, I missed it. And then I could have a minus a Johnny, get the Daredevil. Um, but I didn't think they had a, a counter spell in the graveyard. Celtic Spanner, welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for the sub there. I really do appreciate that. Or the second sub of the day. Nope, no more modern gameplay. Daniel from Brazil. All right, looks like most likely Grixis again for final boss. Most likely. Ooh, Daredevil's great against Grixis. You thought Erasure me? I thought Erasure you. Can you buff with a Planeswalker and then play another and buff the same buff again? Yep. And killing the first. Yep, you can you can do that. So yeah, I could have... Tick, yeah, so that's something I could do with the Ajani. I could tick up on Ajani, play a new Ajani, and sacrifice the first one and tick up again on the other one. Ran, random thought about Chamber Sentry in the Gates deck just popped in my head. How does it sound for another win condition against Control deck? Seems sweet. So in Chamber Sentry, like the... I don't know, X mana card that pings a little bit. Somebody was asking about that card before. It's Esper again. Hmm. Man, I guess I'm going to do this. I don't like throwing out a Growth Chamber Guardian and not being able to activate it. Yeah, I mean, I, so I, I don't... I guess we could have more... We have the, the five color lands that could be some more counters. No. It, I don't think I want Chamber Sentry in the slightest. Um, I am 32 years old. Kind of interesting that our opponent could have just gotten rid of the Growth Chamber Guardian during my turn and not let me activate it and go find another one. Kind of thing. Thanks, Ash. So I guess their hand probably isn't that good if they're allowing me to Let that if they're allowing me to daredevil thought erasure them that last card in hand is probably not that good so Vivian is like you know perfect draw like always still yeah still got rid of search risk can't See what else you got going on over there. I'm guessing they just drew the, the Vraz's Contempt and they didn't have it before. Okay, good. They drew a land this turn. Draw another land next turn. And we get the win. Alright, brick one more turn. One more brick. Nice land draw. Nice. Alright. Got the first win against the final boss here. The Jun deck is not dino-based. No. Alright, let's go Vivian. 
vines, rhythm, niters, spyglass, um, walker, coil, out, and I, I keep one walker in. There we go. Um, they could just be playing Eldritch Reborn or Thief of Sanity, something like that for Tristani. I'll, I'll have Tristani in. Uh, no real plans for an Izzet deck anytime soon. You know, Izzet was like a focus of the last set and, um, you know, not necessarily my favorite. I, uh, we played a Teamer Vanifer deck before and maybe play like some more like Teamer as far as it, as it goes. Um, Ixalan's Binding, they, they can answer Ixalan's Binding pretty much. And I, I don't want just a lot of answers in my deck. I, like, I don't want, like, just to be sitting with, like, an Ixalan's Binding or two in my, my hand, how we saw, like, the Lava Coil, and just have it, like, just be sitting there. I want to be throwing out questions that my opponent needs to answer. Because, like, if I if I wait for them to, like, finally play a Teferi, and then I Ixalan's Binding the Teferi, and then they kill the Ixalan's Binding and get their Teferi back, we're in a rough spot. And, like, that whole time, the Ixalan's Binding doesn't do anything in my hand before that. Yeah, our next deck is Mill. <laughs> yeah, we're going to try some blue-white Mill. It may go horribly wrong. We're going to try some Mill, though. Um, is this Nihilist better than the previous one? I'm thinking so. I like the Ooze. I don't know. Biogenic Ooze hasn't really done very much for us. Maybe it's not really that necessary. Any way to make a Jund Dragon's deck work? Um. Hmm. I mean, Grixis. Dra I think you'd just rather be playing Grixis Dragons. Jund. I just don't think green really adds anything except for I guess some ramp. <clears throat> but Grixis, you just get Nif Mizzet, and it certainly seems like where you want to be. I'm gonna go ahead and play a Johnny here. Could eat another counter spell. Planning on minusing the Ajani to get back to the other branch walker if it resolves. No, Ooze is. You can get Ooze with Militia Bugler. You cannot get Ravager Worm with Militia Bugler. I still want. I want that card to be able to get uh, with Militia Bugler, but I'm trying Oozes over like Tristani and. Oh, it really is. Mm -hmm. All right, we got a big flyer. Gonna be dead. Is Vivian like never not just the amazing? Wasn't meant to be contained. Deck list. There you go. Final boss defeated. Vivian Reed. Thank you so much. Yeah, Naya Value is just a really good deck. This deck's really good. I feel like... About the only thing I really struggle with with this deck... Um, yeah, Final Boss is easy mode. Naya Value is just easy mode. I feel like the biggest thing that 
Naya value struggles with in the entire format is the card find finality, specifically finality. Fi you know, like all these creatures uh, are are kind of weak to finality, uh, which is which is why I kind of like Biogenicus as it can grow over finality range uh, kind of quickly. A Johnny helps with that too, so can Wild Growth Walker. So like Carnage Tyrant into finality. That's how like this deck loses like against Golgari. Um, besides that, uh, it really has like the tools for kind of everything else. I like the aggro matchups with having all these Deafening Clarions and Knight of Autumns in the sideboard. Like these are two definitely key uh, sideboard cards. There, uh, we saw you know we saw us just kind of take roll over some um, uh, Esper decks because you know we have like our early creatures that our opponent needs to like tap out for sweepers. And whenever they tap out for sweepers, then we have our Planeswalkers, specifically Vivian. Really like having the fourth Vivian in the sideboard there. And even against, like, uh, Drakes, like, you're actually just pretty fine against Drakes uh, because of, like, all the Lava Coils and, like, Daredevil for their Lava Coil and all the Vivians can kill their things. Um, and, like, a Johnny helps, like, your creatures fight their creatures kind of thing. I, I don't I don't mind the Drakes matchup too much. You know, Binding, that's what, like, what Binding's for also. Um, whoops. So I really like this deck, and I feel like it's... It's really good, but but there is like that one hole in the metagame. Um, yeah, can it, can it beat Nexus? Absolutely, uh, absolutely. I think it's I think it's pretty good against Nexus. Um, again, sideboard uh, Spyglass is really good there. Knight of Autumn destroy enchantments. The Vivian's destroy enchantments. The Cindervine's good, um, and you you put good pressure on them with these early creatures, and then destroy their enchantments, and and you let your early creatures kind of finish it out, kind of thing. Um, and Golgari is not a bad matchup. It's just specifically uh, finality can can wipe your board, and that that can be troublesome. Um, and especially if they have a Carnage Tyrant on the battlefield that they get to put counters on, and then their Carnage Tyrant is you know it's like a nine nine eight Carnage Tyrant. That's that's those are the games you lose against Golgari. Um, I think overall, like we're actually pretty fine against Golgari. Uh, I I've beaten Golgari more times than I've lost to it, but you can certainly lose those games. Um, so, yeah, I've I have uh, yeah talking about Drakes earlier. I've I uh, I have won almost all my matches against Drakes, um, but yeah, uh, Biogenicus that was pretty pretty interesting there. Um, I I want to try it out again. I I didn't feel like I missed not having Aurelia in the deck. Um, Aurelia. Aurelia is the kind of card that probably helps out against Drakes. Is it can block and it pumps like your small creatures to be able to attack into a Drake. Uh, so I'm I'm probably a little worse in the matchup not having Aurelia. Um, but what's your main board plan against Nexus when milling them out and it shuffles back in? Oh, you're talking about the the next deck. Um, how do you handle a white deck with Honor Guard in the sideboard? Okay, so yeah, against the Honor Guard decks, of course, are a problem too. But basically, we just have four Lava Coil, and you have and you have all four Clarions. You have eight removal spells there with Clarion Coil that are early. And then you also have the two Bindings. So you have ten removal spells. Um, this deck, this deck has gotten a little better against that uh, with the new set, like Biogenicus and Growth Chamber Guardian. Neither of these cards care about. Um, to Kotli Honor Guard. So we also have some other threats that are good, uh, you know, in the face of To Kotli Honor Guard also. Um, I'm not sure if Uzer really have performed better yet. I, I just, I need, we need some more testing here. Um, but uh, it does stop the token from, yeah, it, like it stops the very first ETB token, yes, but like you can create more tokens. So yeah, it, To Kotli Honor Guard is, you know, it does. It does something against Ooze, but you know Ooze can just make more tokens, so that's what I'm saying. Uh, there's there's one rhythm chilling over here. Definitely not going to use new Hellkite again. This is a Militia Bugler deck. We one Ooze is a lot better than Hellkite. Two, Hellkite you can't get off of Ooze, or sorry, <laughs> Hellkite you cannot get off of Bugler. So uh, yeah, we're not trying to end the game really quickly. Hellkite's a very aggressive card. This is not necessarily an aggressive deck. All right, but if you're watching this over on YouTube, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And thanks for watching. I'll see you for the next video.